Show him that we can win too. Play Jaden when he had full power. Hit him with the mass change. Yeah, I'm the lawyer. Greg is the bad Heroes now. It's our turn to show you that. Yugi peoples, welcome to the discussion video. All right, so this week, as y'all can see from the videos I posted and from my last video, my last discussion video, y'all see that I did switch up decks. I am no longer playing Neos, you know. I feel like. You know, I kind of got a feel of how that deck would do, you know, and what it can do. And, you know, I like it. The Like I said, I feel like it plays almost the same number of bricks as Omni Hero. But it feels like it has less, um, less options in the way of, you know, getting to where you need to get with the deck in order to make things happen. And it just seems like it's a whole lot more vulnerable to hand traps in exchange for you know pretty much almost an automatic win so you know it is what it is we moved on and yeah if y'all saw some of the duels that i posted from my from my first experience um you know post phototon hypernova y'all will see that i did try a new assault day build um the ban list wasn't uh, necessarily like supposed to be wasn't necessarily ready Okay, now how do you say it? The ban list wasn't necessarily supposed to be active for the for the tournament that we had, but I didn't realize that in our group chat for the store that we all play at, everybody had voted to um to go ahead and try the new ban list. So had to take like Dagda and you know some DPE and like change a whole lot of things, you know, the fusion destinies and all that stuff. So I had to swap all that stuff out and try to do something different with the deck in the middle of, well, actually, like, not in the middle of the tournament, but before the tournament started. And what I decided to do was try to go with, like, a hand loop, you know, a hand loop destruction deck thing, you know. Hand disruption has always been, like, a big thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, if you think back to, like, the very beginning to, like, I guess, like, what you would say would be, like, the first um strategic type Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, strategic type Yu-Gi-Oh deck was, you know, um Yada Lock, you know, the first time we actually really had like a purpose goal that was outside of defeating your opponent's life points, you know, it's just like, hey, let me instead try to get all these cards out of my opponent's hand, force them to use their cards, try to get card advantage over my opponent, and then make it to where they can't draw anymore. So yeah. That's kind of, well, not exactly the idea behind this deck, but it's what I want to do with the deck, you know. Um, in the deck that I was running with a Soul Day, you can do uh, just two cards. I felt like, you know, just getting off of there, getting that first card, getting the one card that, you know, can really, like, mess you up, could, it's, like, pretty, pretty good. And then, you know, just, like, the other ways the board was supposed to end, you know, was... You know, I felt like it was pretty decent, you know, ripping one card, ripping a second card, and then even having to option to DPE pop something or to Shining Neos Wingman, you know, two or three cards, and then also being able to, like, Unicorn bounce some, spin something back to the top of their deck or whatever. And, yeah, you know, I felt like the idea was pretty solid, but in execution, the extra deck being incomplete the main deck being incomplete it didn't do very good at all so you know i'm trying to decide if i feel like i should run more of a neos engine that allows me to rip like three or four cards or should i stick with the soul day build which feels a little bit more um, it feels a little bit more consistent and the reason why i say it feels a little bit more consistent with having a soul day off in there is because i feel like Assault forces out, you know, hand traps. Like, it's like you really, really don't want a soul day to, like, start going off in order to build, in order to build something. So if you haven't gone into your Spirit of Neos plays at that point, you know, it makes, you know, Spirit of Neos all that more, all that much better because, you know, they've already just tried to stop a soul day. Now, the problem with it, you know, is like the same thing as pretty much when you, when you use um, any other card that's not a hero inside of a hero deck you know the problem is like it makes the hero deck a little bit weaker seeing as how you can't use other cards such as you know um 
like with this deck, like one of the cards I would really like to be able to use would be Engage Neo Space. This is just like a very powerful card. Searches, polymerization, special summons, my spirit of Neos. Probably gets me an elemental hero search because I am, you know, sending that shadow miss or hopefully sending shadow miss and then, you know, even dropping that one Neo Spatian, just the Aqua Dolphin only having to run one in this kind of build right here, you know, it's not it's pretty good you know you got your draw power still because you would still be able to you do cross caper like since you're searching polymerization you know you probably have liquid soldier off in there to get a couple draws off in there too and yeah like overall like the deck idea inside of my mind it works great i need to you know fix a couple of things if y'all saw in the video one of the cards that i was missing in my main deck was renad you know that was <laughs> that was really really pretty bad and then i think like an extra deck i was missing my ip and yeah it just made for like a horrible horrible tournament experience but you know overall the way the deck performed when it actually like didn't need those cards and like when i was able to pull out a victory it felt like it felt pretty good so we're gonna figure things out with the deck you know i haven't decided for this week if i'm going to continue with the soul day type build or go more into a hero type build you know something that allows me to uh loop out more cards but you know in thinking about the deck you know it's kind of like i feel like it's a whole lot weaker two hand traps without a soul day off in there and on top of that it doesn't feel like it has that much of a contingency plan i probably did not say that word right i don't uh yeah that's <laughs> so y'all can get on me about that but yeah it feels like um if i get hand trapped in the right spot it's just like i've been kind of thinking like what do i do if it happens right here and you know that's kind of like the problem with the deck currently is that it doesn't feel like there's much i can do when i do get hand trapped in certain spots so we're going to work on that see what i can do in order to fix alleviate that and you know just kind of go from there and yeah but overall like i feel like a hand disruption deck would be be very good I think one of the reasons why we haven't really been able to do it yet is because tears, you know, they get their effects inside of the hand. So it's just like you don't want to be popping anything inside of their hand or, you know, popping random cards inside of their hand because they're going to get destroyed, get sent to the graveyard, and they're going to start, like, doing stuff to you, you know, without you um, having to worry about them doing it themselves, you know. You're just doing it for them. So I have... A lot of high hopes for this deck, you know, ripping three cards out of your opponent's hand, like even like ripping two cards out of your opponent's hands can sometimes be very, very, um, very, very, very good. You know, knowing exactly what cards your opponent has in your hand outside of their draw, um, being able to get one of the most critical ones and then setting up your inboard in a way that the cards that they do have left are not as um, good as your opponent thought they would be. So, yeah, we're going to go with it. We're going to roll with it. We're going to see how it goes. I actually might just go ahead and try the Nun, a Soul Day type build this week. And then, you know, like, it's just kind of hard to compare the Soul Day build, the a Soul Day Hand Disruption build to the e-hero build when i played the soul day build it just wasn't complete you know and i think like one of the biggest things in that tournament was like not having renard inside of my, inside of my main deck like i just don't know <laughs> what i was thinking when that happened he was out of there y'all saw i kept on special summoning fire flint lady there was one game where i had to use her effect from hand and then i also special summoned her with um with a uh, with a soul's effect because I didn't have any other targets to bring. Well, the, I do have another target. You know, I put enough equip cards off in there to be able to special summon out the crosskeeper if I needed to. I was like, oh shoot, this is you know I can special summon out crosskeeper. The only thing with that is like I would just much rather have another way to special summon the spirit of Neos, you know, than having to you know bring out crosskeeper with a soul day's effect. The other thing inside of the deck, you know, is that I was running. Solid Soldier, and honestly, the Solid Soldier just did not feel very good at all. There were like times where I just kept drawing him, and I was like, man, he doesn't go very well with anything inside of my hand. It's like I can get two Warriors out on the board, but a Soul Day's effect to special summon uh, another hero from hand is just not doing anything. You know, it's just not. There was like one 
one game where I like opened up with double Solid Soldier and I was just like, oh, okay. So I think we definitely are going to change that up. You know, I really want to run Solid Soldier because I think there was one game where, you know, he ended up getting hand trapped and I was actually able to continue my turn because polymerization and actually like still continue to get Solid Soldier's effect because, you know, when he goes to the graveyard by spell card that's, you know, um, used to like summon you can still special summon that hero from the graveyard. I was able to special summon Stratos, go do my search, and you know, I still put two warriors out on the board and I was able to go from there. So, you know, so I just haven't decided yet. I really thinking I'm probably going to remove like the multiple solid soldiers and maybe just replace them with, you know, emergency calls. That way, you know, if I do draw the one solid soldier, hopefully I drew it with emergency call or something else to be able to, um, you know, search for the other hero that I need. So yeah, there are a couple you know, there are a couple of changes, things I need to make to the deck. You know, the biggest thing is also like its weakness to uh Nibiru because you don't have a monster to put out there that's like three K attack to be able to get rid of the Nibiru in their hand. So, you know, that kinda sucks as well and you know, I feel like a lot of people will like be like, hey, he's in the in the position to go into Appaloosa, so let me go ahead and Nibiru him before that happens. And, you know, in the past, in the past when I was able to, when I was playing the deck, you know, I was still able to, you know, to like link off that little token, use whatever I got with a sold, and I would be at like the Living Fossil, Special Summon Another Monster, and still make Verte and, you know, have a DPE play. You know, but unfortunately, that's not doable anymore. So, you know, it makes the deck a whole lot weaker to Nibiru, unfortunately. But we're going to go and we're going to see what it do. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it another run at it, change up a couple things, see if it does better. And if it does not, we will switch to a more e-hero type build for hand disruption, rip more cards and, you know, see if we can find a way to play around this hand trap format you know because it's definitely the hand trap format you know i'm not really with this deck i wasn't really tripping about the um about book of eclipse you know i know a lot of people are playing that but you know you end on appaloosa and you know the book of eclipse can't fit that down you usually probably you know have a favorite contact down also so that's not getting book of eclipsed and yeah so we're gonna try it out change up a couple things i'm gonna get with y'all next week i'm gonna let y'all see the duels i'm gonna let y'all know how i felt about it and hopefully you know we're gonna pull off some pretty easy victories after we get inside our opponent hand and leave them with very few options that we know about so appreciate everybody for staying a while to listen and i will catch y'all on the next video Messing with the mass hero, king the game, mask off, now you see that a hero lives. I pay half and you ask, but I'm winning games. There ain't another hero that surpasses me.